Hi, I'm Vincent with Pocone Real Estate. I'm here with Tracy Wright from the Wright House Photography. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Very good. Today we're here to talk about photography and goats. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right? So um, we actually showed up today and there were two guard, guard goats. Do you want to tell me about the goats to start maybe? Well, they are Simon and Dexter and they are my welcoming committee. They are uh, super, super friendly. They're just like dogs. They just uh, hang out with people and follow me around when we're outside doing pictures. And uh, They're not vicious. They're not vicious. They just want to push up against you and snuggle and uh, photobomb in your pictures. They want to be in the pictures. So do you, do you use them often in, in some of your, uh, uh, in your work? I quite often get requests, can we have goat pictures? So uh, yeah, and that's what they're here for. They're, we're here to interact with kids so that, because we're a little bit out of, out of the city. So it's uh, kind of a country feel. So I wanted I wanted people to come here and have an experience, not just come here and get their pictures taken. So my plan was to have a, just a fun, memorable place that people would say the next time they wanted to have pictures, hey, let's go there again. So, yeah. And the the goats helped me out with that tremendously. What's the uh, What's the most interesting goat photo shoot you've done? Oh, families all the time want them in their photos, and, and that's harder than when they just decide they want to be in the photos because then we have to kind of maneuver them in. But uh, no, they're just uh, they want to be part of all of it. Yeah, they seemed very friendly. I we, oh, we pulled up, we weren't sure, and then uh, they were very friendly, and they snuggled up, and they want to be pet, and they really are just like little little friendly dogs, right? Dexter, my white goat. If I sit down anywhere on a chair, he's immediately up on my lap and just wants to cuddle. Amazing. And yeah, so they're pretty cool. Yeah, I like them a lot. really good. So we're we're out on Woodbine. We're a little bit outside of Newmarket. Uh, tell me about the actual property, about the space, and kind of how it came to be from uh, you know where you work. Um, I had a smaller house in Newmarket, and I had a studio in my basement and I was just kind of outgrowing it when I decided to start looking around for other properties. My parents, this is the house that we actually grew up in as a child, and just when I started going uh, to look around at open houses and things, the people who were renting this house decided to move. So to me it was like a sign that this property all of a, all of a sudden became available, and I had always told my mom and dad that if it did, I had my first option to buy. And it was exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something close to town, easy for people to find, but had a real country feel to it. So that's what we have here. So we have two acres. And what I like about being here is that I've, I've tried to create all the different areas. When I've gone other places for photo shoots, I think in my mind, you know what, I really like that about that place. And I really liked this about that place. So here, I've tried to create all those different aspects, and we try to add a new element each year because I have a lot of repeat customers that come back for family sessions every year. So they want to have different backdrops, but different things. So uh, which I try and yeah, offer keep it that. exciting, keep it exciting yeah, for the customers so that coming the pictures back. Pictures don't look the same exactly every year. Yeah. So this is uh, yeah, it's just been great. We built a studio, so I do indoor things here. But outside, we have lots of different areas, and of course, the goats follow around. And the around goats follow around. <laughs> it's nice to have such a, a big space to work with inside and outside. I mean, we're in a great, we're in an absolutely um, amazing indoor space. But I mean, the property is yeah. huge as well. Tell me what it's like working um, with having your business where your family was. So working on your oh, family property, and I just tell me about it. that. It's just uh, such a sentimental sap when it comes to that because this is the fourth generation to be on this property and uh, it just meant so much to me that I was able to keep it and be able to keep it in our family. It's the last two acres from the original family uh, settlement and uh, I feel in many ways I was guided to get here. There were so many little signs and signals along the way that I was doing the right thing and, and I know my grandmother's around here watching because I chat to her all the time when we're out there and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I just love it. It's just meant so much to me. And all the things I hated growing up here as a kid, love as an adult. Yeah, <laughs> usually that's usually the, yeah. it's usually the way it works, right? Yeah. Um, it's one of the amazing things about Newmarket um, and, the, and the surrounding area. Some families have been here for so long. You have so many new families coming in, mm -hmm. but you know you really have that that heritage. You know your family's been here for four generations. It's uh, it's pretty remarkable. It is. Yeah. No, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they'd be really happy to have the space still being used. Um, and, and I think it's a really nice, uh, it ties in really nicely with photography. It's such a sentimental um, type yeah. of industry, right? So um, people come here and they, you know, you can really invest in their, in creating their moments with them. And, but you're, you know, you're still continuing to do that on yeah. your own, your own family property as well, right? Yeah, no, it's great. That's yeah. Great. Um, tell me about some of the changes you've seen in the new market area. You, you know, your family's been here for oh a long time. 
Um, huge. You know, I'm fairly new in the neighborhood, but um, yeah, tell me, tell me what you see, um, you know, some of the really positive things you've seen as the community grows, um, maybe some of the challenges that happen with growth. I think they're, they're normal. So yeah. um, tell me yeah. about some of the, the things you've seen that you, you really like. Well, I mean, it, it has definitely grown so, so big. I mean, the 404 wasn't up here at all when we were kids. On a Sunday night, the traffic would be stopped on Woodbine, everybody coming home from the cottage, and people coming in with buckets of water, wanting water for their rads because their rads were overheating because wow. they were stuck for so long. Wow. Yeah, and the, the very first store that you would ever come to would be where Home Hardware is now. That there was nothing, no, like nothing at the four, because there was no 404. Right. But there was right. no plazas or anything. My grandmother used to always joke, if you needed a spool of thread, you had to go all the way across to Main Street just to get thread because there was nothing in between. There was nothing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I mean, it, it's great that it's expanded and grown and it, uh, because the photography market is, has a few photographers in it. Sure, <laughs> digital, yeah. Digital um, it, the photography has changed all of that. Anybody could. Of course can or thinks they can be a photographer and that's so it's good to have a big pool of people to draw from. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, they're your clients, right? So the more people that grow, the more right. people you can interact with and, and the more businesses you can interact with as well, right? Um, on that note, tell me a bit about um, how you got into photography. I mean, as you said, anyone with a digital camera or an iPhone, I mean, I see people at weddings oh, with their big crazy. iPads holding up and it's, crazy. you know, let the photography do their job. But So tell me about how you got into it and, and why you really like doing it. I was four years old and I saved Kool-Aid packages to send away for my very first camera. Wow. And it was, I'm really aging myself now, but there wasn't even any place that you could develop film. So you had to put the film in a package and send it in the mail and you'd patiently wait for the mailman to come to see if your pictures came back. And then being four and five years old, nobody had any of the heads in my right. pictures. They were all chopped off. Right. And, uh, right. But so it's always been something that I've been really passionate about and interested in for whatever reason. I don't know what would make a four-year-old. Yeah, I no, it's a passion. Yeah, that's incredible. One. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So then I've just kind of grown along with it. It's been a hobby all my life. I did um, in my other um, studio. I had a dark room and I developed my own film and printed it. And uh, I, I, it makes me laugh now when I think about photographers today, how they would shoot so differently if they had to have film and they had to they couldn't take 30 shots and hope to get two or three good ones right. you had to have good shots right off right. the bat yeah, and it's of course. just uh, yeah so it's just changed so much but i just had so many people say to me along the way no you should be doing this full time and so i just I guess 15 years ago made that leap and uh, that's kind of how i got here yeah i can <laughs> i can only imagine um, we we live in a world where like the immediacy so you know you take a photo you get to see it right away um, and it's amazing, it's one of those industries where you really have paid your dues because you've had to go, th I mean, not only, you know, the patience of having to get your first camera, but um, having to take photos and then send them off and then wait, yeah. make sure that they're good. Um, and then ultimately, that's what you're selling to people as well. So, you know, making sure that what you're um, capturing for them is really, really, really good quality because you can't just come back and shoot another no. 150 photos. <laughs> um, you know, you have to really make sure you're doing so. That's good. I'm sure people really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, in, in your talent and in your passion. This is one of the hardest things I have to deal with at the studio here is to get to people with their cell phones in their car. Absolutely. Because uh, it's the whole, people's mindset has changed. People use their cell phones for everything. They take, they take pictures of every single thing they do and their meal and their, and they, so it's when they come here and this is my job and I've spent time and effort and money into props and settings and things. I don't want them taking their own photos. If you want to take your own photos, you stay at home or you go to a park and you do that. Go that find your do. own goats. Exactly. <laughs> so, but people don't understand when I say, and you'll see if we go out about there's signs around saying no cell phone photography. And some people are really offended because they just, it's just such a, a way of life now to photograph yeah. everything as you go. Yeah. They can't, it's like cutting their arm off when yeah. they say you have to leave it in the car. Yeah, it's a shame yeah. in a lot of ways. I mean, um, people are so they're so attached. They you know they miss being attached to the property. They miss being in the present. Yeah, that's right. Being in the moment, right? <laughs> and it's moment, yeah, yes. yeah, of course. And and let you capture the moment for them. That's what you're here for. Yes. That's what you're talented. That's what you're good and passionate about. So that's that's what they should be trusting you to do. Yeah. Um, so it's really good. Here, so that families can come here and have their photos taken. They get this all this natural grass all around them, but they're up off the ground. Well, if women are worried about snakes or anything crawling around their feet, they don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> this is another. This spot, after about 4 o'clock, with the sun setting, it's beautiful. It's 
Let's go next. Ooh. <laughs> so we built these because when the goats were babies, they used to cry when I'd go inside. So this way, I got <laughs> <laughs> Hi, buddy. this way, uh, when I'm inside, they can jump up and look in the window and see oh. what I'm doing. And the kids just, if they're a little bit nervous or they're all of a sudden they'll say, see Oh my God, there's a goat. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Okay. You do high five. <laughs> so, what do your clients like most about uh, working with you? I think, first of all, what they like most is that I offer such a variety of uh, shooting uh, spots for for people. They can get diff many different looks when Indoor, they come here. Indoor, outdoor. Yeah, and uh, they're, they're just, the pictures don't look the same year to year. Everybody loves the goats. They're a huge, huge feature. But I think um, mostly what people are like to come here for is I am super super patient I'm always up for a challenge not that I want many difficult ones <laughs> but I am so um, uh, proud of how I can connect with children and I find even if I'm in a grocery store there'll be a little baby sitting in their buggy with the mom and they'll just like zoom right in on me and follow me around and so even the most difficult kids, knock on wood, I've been very lucky with to capture those great smiles and get them to connect with me. And uh, I, I, parents say to me all the time, I can't believe how patient you are with kids. And it, it's incredible in, in so many industries and, and in, in real estate it's very similar where um, many people can do a similar job but the connections you form, people, the, yes. the level of trust, yes. um, a little bit of intuition in the way you can understand their needs. Um, once you form a connection with people, I think the photography, my experience has been that it's that connection that's most important. Having the dynamic space, having the talent behind the camera is all very important. But if you oh, can't connect, that's right. If yeah. you can't connect with with your with your clients, um, you're you're not going to be able to draw the best out of them, and that's your job. So it's amazing yes. to hear um, with confidence that, that you're able to do that. And I mean, I can tell that right away. And I'm excited to uh, to bring my son here and do some yeah. do some shots <laughs> and do some goals. I know he would love it, and I know he'd have a great time. But um, that's, that, that's parents trust me so much. I say to, to people now. Just let me take your kids. You come sit in here, relax, yeah. and let me go outside, connect with your kids without them looking for you or yeah. seeing what you're yeah. doing. And they just sit here and watch out the window, and I take the kids and we play them and be super goofy and I'm rolling yeah. the floor with them yeah. and I'm doing all that stuff. But then you end up getting those authentic, great shots, yes. which to me is what's important. Anybody can make a child say cheese. Yes, that's you right. You get them like a real belly laugh. Yeah, or you make yeah. them feel comfortable enough that while I'm laying on the ground, they come and sit on my back. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Let them 15 minutes yeah. ago. That's, that to me is a really important skill. Yeah, it's really powerful. You, yeah. you're, you're able to draw the best out of, the, yes. out of them. And that's really yes. what people want. They want to pay for photographs, but they want to pay for the best. And being yeah. able to pull that out of them, yeah. um, is, uh, it's, it's remarkable to hear. It's really, it's, I mean, it's, it's exciting. And if people want to get in touch with you directly, what's the best way for them to contact you? Uh, probably through my website. Okay. It's uh, www.therighthousephotography.com. Okay. And all over social media as well, if they search yes, The Right Facebook House? Yes, Facebook too. Yes. Uh, that's as far as I go. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Very good. Very good. So, uh, website's the best. Um, if not, what about calling? Do you prefer oh, the website? Oh, sure. You can call. Just, I can't always answer because if I'm in a session. Very, very busy. Okay. Uh, it is just me. I can't always get to the phone, but I will get back to people. I just find sometimes an email is because if I get up in the middle of the night and I can't sleep, I can answer back. Sure. Right? Yeah, when you run your own business, you never stop, right? Yeah. So, very good. Okay, so Tracy Wright from the Right House Photography. I'm Vincent from Coney Real Estate. Thanks for tuning in.